Okay, UAPs and UFOs seem to be a topic these days, so I'm putting up pictures of some of the research that Gordon Novell has done, along with 150 other scientists over the years, as well as uh, including Paul Mueller, chief engineer, myself, electrical engineer, I suppose, as I was in the group for a number of years, decades maybe. So let's go on with the photos. They're kind of intriguing and, well, let's continue. Can time be turned back? This was something in regards to the Russian research team in the South Pole that got readings of sending, when they sent up their balloon with instrumentation. The instrumentation will come back going back to 1965. This is interesting stuff here. I first heard of this in 2004 and was emailed and I copied the emails and photographed the emails. But this is from Gordon's project. This is falling in my area. This is a um, voltage multiplication series discharge sequences with voltages and capacitance. Quite interesting, actually. It's different capacitor systems and the way it would work. And this is what Paul Mueller was, I think, presented, as well as myself. RAM technical program definition. Okay. RAMX. Test rig. That's what uh, Paul and I were working on a while ago. 2007, I think. Okay. Vortex generating fields on craft. It goes to the train, by the way. Also, Gordon was in contact with Tom Bearden and Boyd Bushman and Lockheed Martin. Quite interesting. The, the source is the battery power system switching into a system here as well. Uh, nowadays, I guess that could be a super cap or a zero point energy collector system. Some of the unique magnetic fields associated with these things, apparently. So, this is intriguing as well. CEP pushed. Now, zero point energy has been discovered by several scientists, and it's not really out there, but I know that they, the scientists I know discovered it. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, two million electron volts. Others, oh, okay, this is uh, various maneuvering done. So we've got uh, interdimensional hyper space travel. Now, a good book for you folks to read would be from written by George Gamow on cosmology. Very interesting, this diagram here. It's a uh, gravity, time, space. Uh, mass and light forces of the universe interesting stuff here it's some publications interesting called the time gate Nic Nicolai Kosseriz conducted an experiment in past and present interesting a lot of this stuff is some Russians it's kind of meaning it's buried away and it could be available through people that can bring this out, like Bob Greener and others. This is an image that Helena took in 2007 when I was with her down in Scottsdale, Arizona. Anti-gravity device uh, from Gordon's 330-page um, 100, uh, publication on the ARV, Alien Replication Vehicle. Some of the techniques, scientists involved here, and others from way back, that is. Basically, from the DTIC uh, website on plasma and ball lightning, which can be done. I've done it some time ago. It's intriguing, but I don't know. You've got to be careful with this kind of stuff. You don't want sunburn.
See, I released Jim, uh, John J.M. Wright, um, privacy coordinator, and this is uh, stuff that fell out of the sky, was analyzed and tested. All these documents need to be scanned and re-enhanced to read it properly. It's poor original. So this is more of the CIA's report on alien artifacts that fell down into the ground. Again, it's got to be scanned properly and enhanced to read it. Okay, well, that's uh, me on a slide from Los Alamos when I was presenting my stuff to them some years ago, as well as U.S. Army Intelligence Security Command on the anti-gravity stuff I was doing back then. On up to about 2008, when I was forced to close down because of the effects were going in other people's areas. Here we go, some of the ball lightning stuff I was doing in the 80s with this discharge system as well. Discharge gap in the big lab way back in the 80s. Okay, this is for C from CK View Television. And yeah, I was demonstrating to them many different news agencies over the years. Oh, this would be about 1984. I'm at my control panel looking rather younger. Ooh, okay, so I was doing the stuff then, many tons of stuff way behind that control panel. I guess it's Star Trek, me on the lot. Wow, that's, uh, okay, Her Herman Zimmerman, his girlfriend, Linda McLean, Gene Manning, Yuri, Yen Gasta, and me, John Hutchison, holding my bag of vitamins. Woohoo. Uh, some of my old metal samples from the 80s and 2000 and Four, I think. More samples way back when. Steel bars and wrench. Okay, that's just me, John Hutchison, goofing around in the new lab that's running now. This is Rob Simone. This is the apartment lab. Uh, 2007, they filmed Levitation, other things happening, and wrote it up and it's on video as well as it's going to air sometime as well. This was given to me by Dennis Weaver, 2004, I believe. Yeah, that's my achievements and what I was doing with all my stuff. I gave a lecture there, too, and other things. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to brag about myself, of course. Uh, <laughs> this uh, first started before I met George Hathaway or Alex Bezer or anybody else. It was Mel Winfield, who started taking pictures and videos and stuff and publishing them somewhere. And in his book, I think. Then along came Alex Pizarro, and then the rest is, well, I can't go into it right now. So that's us in Denver, Colorado, at a conference. I was just in the front of Dr. Pudoff, and myself is towards the top there with Ian and John Hutchison. We have uh, Dr. Brian O'Leary and other good people there, all really super great people that knew their stuff. Oh, this is part of the Hutchison Effect apparatus equipment stuff that luckily I got off of uh, HMCS Yukon, HMCS uh, Saskatchewan, HMCS Columbia, and HMCS McKenzie. Still got some of that around here. This is civilian's Wesley Baker, who has uh, known me for a long time. Going back to the 70s, he's been in my lab, saw the stuff flying around and breaking apart and exploding. This is from Discovery Channel International. Check it out. Uh, this is uh, next is 1986 Canadian government folks that come in and observe stuff and wrote up their own report. And interesting, whatever. Yeah, that's Dr. Kuhn. The gentleman who took the picture was the head fellow, Dr. Lerner Kuhn. That's Dr. Okay, Dr. Loken, Dr. Harold Wilson, George Hathaway, myself. With the looking a bit strange there, but oh well. 2006 already, wow. This is uh, Stargate SG-1 Studios. I'm in the room office along with that character there that they used in one of the TV shows, and that's Laura and others that own um, film companies around there. Here we are in Japan after some unique, many encounters like this up and down the entire country. It was an incredible time, and lots of videos on this, too, that some will, day will get uploaded on the Internet. Okay, some of the media coverage. Uh, 
That was 1990. Stuff I was doing. Ha <laughs> ha, chance discovery of levitation of gizmo led to PC remove, PCB removal. Oh boy. From the 40s, uh, this was in regard to some of the UFO stuff going on back then. This is about 2002 or 2001, is it? It's, uh, I gave a demonstration of Fox TV. The host of the show was um, Jonathan Frakes of Star Trek Next Generation. I had a lot of fun working with these guys. It was a good demo. I might upload the video. Oh, it's our next door neighbor in Oregon and Larry King on the destroyer. I think it was Iowa submarine ship there that uh, nuclear. He was a captain, actually. Joe Serial, his name was. Interesting. This would be HMCS Yukon, one of the war four warships I worked on. I'm up on the. You can't quite see me there, but you can see me way up there on the. Superstructure taking apart some stuff up there, so. This was Tesla's friend in Canada. A very old gentleman who had a house full of stuff. Of Tesla's and unpublished works. And he died in the 80s. And had to, uh, the, the provincial government shipped it all overseas to the United Kingdom. Whatever happened to all that, I don't know. Okay, unfortunately, I would not want to take apart this ship, but restore it. USS Alabama, and that's Nancy way back there, as well as. I spent all day, I was totally exhausted. I would have probably spent all my life on that ship and restoration of it. Something I'd love to do someday. Oh, well, that's me on USS Alabama after my many climbing around all day and took a rest on the bed. Okay, and the next day I went again. Picture of two of my actual friends, actually. Not close friends, but friends. Okay. So, this is on Mandeville Canyon Road, Stephen Seagal, when he was living there a long time ago. Oh, this is the Fox thing that um, I did in around 2002 with Jonathan Frakus and Robert Keviat on levitation stuff. Oh, let's see. Well, da -da. Getting there. Sorry for the delay, so oh well. There was a lot of work that day, too, putting this stuff together and getting it running again. That's uh, electrostatic repulsion, mostly, that one. I believe poltergeist energy is a combination of electromagnetic, electrostatic Some people like to take that and try and say I'm doing crazy fraud stuff. Would you be fooled into believing this is caused by a spirit? Believe it or not, many people confuse Hutchison's results with actual ghosts. Oh, yeah, sparks. I have encountered people that have ball lightning stuff. Oh, sorry. Ha ha, this is my Warner and Swayze turret lay that I got free a long time ago. I restored it, painted that color. Very happy with that. I guess I sold it and it's still in existence somewhere. I 
turret lathe. This is oh my, this is back in the apartment lab. I mounted spoons in various positions to see what happens. So they seem to get soft and fall over and bend. And that was for a TV show demo. I don't know where. It, Okay, so American Technology Group. This was um, this is a Baser project using bosons instead of photons. Would actually create immense energy transfer and totally neutralize nuclear nuclear radioactive waste. I talked about quite a bit. It was kind of secret at the time, but I got a picture of it. I got this on eBay, it's under, over 110 pounds. Uh, fair radio sale shifted to me from the seller on eBay as this is used in the Apollo project and only 12 of them were ever made. So I have it now and okay. NBC sold to NBC, uh, sorry, stock footage sold to NBC. That was a while ago now. I don't know if I've seen the show yet, but it's been a while. Believe it or not, that that's me talking to a journalist uh, for Vancouver Sun newspaper, Vancouver Province, and CBC at the time because I set up balloons in the sky and people thought they were UFOs. So I guess maybe I got my interest in all this by shooting balloons up in the air. I don't know. I'm just a creative person that likes history and likes all that stuff, okay? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I know what this is. That's a demonstration with Rob Simone as they're placing objects in the target area kind of thing. It's kind of long, so it's kind of... It'll be a long video, I suppose. I don't know. Just sitting here contemplating my navel and see what I could do, but I wanted to cover what we did years ago was Gordon and friends. This is filmed up a TV set. I wonder what the real actual film is like. Okay, well, it's what I look like these days. Anyway, I wanted to cover this. Um, I had a chance with uh, Gordon's work, my my work, Paul Mueller's work, Paul Pandolfi's work, Pandolfi's work, Boyd Bush's work, and hundreds of others work into all of this area of UFO phenomena. 
and UAPs. I just wanted to cover this and see if iPad was working and make it under the program I have is called Clips. Will it work or will it upload or just, I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, have a great day. Thank you for your attention. Let me go. I tend to ramble off in different directions, but that's just my nature, you know, free association. And keep going and keep talking. Stop it.